<laughs> I've made a bit of a blunder this morning. I thought I'd try and do a little bit of work on my own on the van, see if I was capable of doing it on my own, you know, without the help of people. Uh, just to show how clever and manly I am and, and all those sort of things. And I've discovered that I can't. <laughs> I've discovered I'm a bit of an idiot, really. So, um, as you can see, uh, well, you can't really, hang on a minute, let me just nip out here into the very bright light. You see these panels in my doorway? Uh, well, this one in particular, it's black. It's black. I don't want it to be black. I would like there to be more colour in the van because when I'm filming in the van, um, all the light is absorbed by the black. So I tried to take one of these covers off and there are these little tiny little, um, what I thought were connectors, I suppose, little plastic caps, which I assume was some form of catch or connector or something that would keep the panel in place and you just undid them and pull them out. Turns out that whoever did that, th those connectors didn't work and they have glued the panel in and look. Here's the panel and on the other side you can see there is the glue and that is what held this into place but it's a specific kind of glue it's like a I don't know a mastic glue of some description and it it holds it in there so I thought, how do I get it back so <clears throat> I have got I've got some Gorilla Glue, which is basically a, a wood glue that might hold it if, if I was able to clamp the two together. But because it's an upright door, as you can see there behind me, it's an upright door, it just won't clamp. So I gave somebody a ring. I said, here, Ricky, any chance you could advise me and he's coming over a little bit later to help me glue the door back but we're also going to talk about coverings and things to make the van a bit brighter of course there's um, another way of brightening up the the van just that little bit so it's not just completely black behind me although sometimes the black works quite well you know in terms of filming but this this is the bottom of my bed the air mattress which is very very comfortable and sits on obviously the the seat or the storage box very well and makes up the bed um, and it, I've just got this held up here with a bungee of course so it's very lightweight and they've got magnets which are holding the bungee in position it's it's a brilliant um, and simple thing and mostly this is <laughs> this is what I want to do uh, simple so I thought hang on a minute I've got some towels here colored towels um, which I used to use in um, a, 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 I produced a, an interior set of a beach hut many years ago for um, a little project I was working on which I built in my front room a beach hut in my front room anyway so I dressed it with numerous things so I haven't actually used these towels in in towel purposes but what I thought I could do is just to cover really very simplistically I know let's see if this works and just dress it like that and then I've instantly got a bit of uh, something a bit more colourful okay I could do a better job than that that's one which is a beach towel uh, this one is of course the Union Jack well the Union flag it's not a jack unless it's actually on the jack I believe is the pole so let me just try this and see if this is a better one you can tell me what you think 
whack that in there. Like that. That's that's not too shabby, is it? I think when when that's fixed a bit better, it adds a bit more light. And obviously you want one on the opposite side, a, a, a beige coloured thing because, um, or a whitish thing so you get more reflected light. At the moment I'm having to open all the doors just to get the light in so that you can see me because everything is, is quite black. But there's probably more simple ways of just brightening up the van if I don't want to go down the route of pulling the panels off and then having to glue them up again. But we'll see what Ricky says. In a previous episode, you would have seen Colonel Cragratty and I uh, finish off the kitchen unit that uh, Ricky also helped to uh, construct with me. And we put on what we now have is the splashback uh, effectively, but it's not quite finished because I've been advised um, to put a sealant around the rim because obviously you don't want water to you know you tip over some water or something like that uh, you don't want water to get down the back through the cracks because that can rot There's some kids there um, the summer holidays is, is here and I'm right up against the supermarket which doesn't make for great recording but anyway I'm doing my best um, yeah so I bought some sealant here uh, which is cheap enough because then I realised I needed to get the gun and the gun was the most expensive part so you start off thinking oh that won't be too expensive it's only a couple of quid for the sealant but actually yeah 15 quid later and um, you're thinking well that's my lunch money gone so the next job is to just get the squidge in there and seal it up <laughs> Well, that went okay. <laughs> I've never really been a sealant man myself. Oh, that's the icing on the cake. Anyway, I believe, I believe, that, <laughs> can I get my hands messy now? I believe that what you now do is you run your finger around it and make it look like a professional <laughs> finish. <laughs> so we'll give that a whirl. Yeah without getting it on my elbow. <sighs> so. I might go back and, you know, try again. Right, I think Ricky's gonna turn up any minute, so um, I'll make him a, a nice cream sandwich. Mm. Well, I think that'll be glued in oh five minutes 24 hours three months who knows I know a man who does know Ricky he's just turned up hello Ricky hello mate how you doing oh thank you very much for coming out last right. minute to assist not a problem um, you are my go-to van man 
Thank you. <laughs> Van buddies. Van buddies, yeah, yeah that's what yeah, you need sure. in this game. So, um, as you saw, the panel fell off. Um, it, I took it off, and it's, um, it needs replacing. How are we going to do it? Uh, well, what we're going to do is we're going to have to take some of this existing sealant off. Yes. Because the clips that hold, hold it in place, they are broken. Knackered. Knackered. Because you, yanked, you yanked it off, didn't you? I did, um, I was, uh, yes, zealous. Yeah, that's right. You were keen to see what was behind it. Well, I know something was behind it. Yeah. Well, nothing now. No, <laughs> no. I guess, I mean, it, it, one could put insulation You in could there, do, yeah, you, you could fill that with insulation. I'm not going to bother at the moment. No, it's not worth it. No. Not worth it. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this existing sealant off. Yes. And put some fresh back on around here. <laughs> Which you just fortunately happened to have had on my person. Yeah, how lucky is that? Yeah, you yeah. were you were flying like super van man, <laughs> flying around for any idiot in distress. <laughs> and then what we'll do is we'll plonk that back in place, put the clips back in, and that should be that. Well, that looks fantastic. I know, as everybody's always going to say, is uh, other people do all the work for me. Hang on, I just open up the lens a bit. That's better. Uh, Ricky, you, you're the professional. If I'd done it, it would have been a right cack-handed mess. Uh, a bit like my sealant job on the <laughs> kitchen cabinet. But shh, no one notices. <laughs> um, so that's it. Now I can put a 10-ton weight against that and it won't fall off. Well, leave it for a little bit. And don't go yanking things, at right? Because uh, I've only got a little bit of sealant left. Oh uh, yes, yeah, thank you so much. That's right. Yeah, not good. Super Van Man. If you need him at any time, call the number just off the screen. <laughs> oh, you're a star. Thank <laughs> you right. very much, young not fella. Problem. Not a problem. Cheers. Thanks to Ricky, who's now uh, whizzed off to rescue somebody else from some other catastrophe. Um, I think all I can do now is uh, make myself a, a cup of tea or a cup of coffee. Um, maybe whilst that's drying, uh, obviously I can't leave the van and the sun is shining and it's, it's nice to sit in here with the, the breeze and the heat coming on me on this wonderful day in the summer, is to have a piece of cake, which uh, actually the lovely Julia brought round a little piece of uh, birthday cake from Geronimo, Dro Geronimo Joe, her two-year-old. Um, it was his birthday the other day, she dropped in a piece of birthday cake which was very kind of her and uh, of course I'm, I'm interested in getting my little library in the in the van so that when I go to places I can, well, what shall I, ah oh, here's an interesting book, what shall I read? This one is Byways, Boots and Blisters, A History of Walkers and Walking. Sit here, cup of tea, piece of cake, Look at the view. The van life is coming together. Big thanks to Ricky for helping me out there. Um, the sealant is done. Yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I will be out and about in my van very soon, doing it properly, and I hope you enjoy it. Anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow, like, subscribe, and all of that. Give me a thumbs up. See you next time. But for now, it's time for cake and some reading. Mm -hmm.